we're going to do, we're going to start looking at algebra tiles. And some of you are really good at algebra and you understand the math of and how things work. But now we're going to start looking at algebra tiles. And these are algebra tiles here. We have a big square. We have, I guess we'll call it like a stick. And then we have a little mini size square. Okay. So the way these work is this is called an x squared. And it's an x squared because this length is x, this length is x. So x times x is x squared. When we look at this one, notice when I put them together, it is just as long, which means it has a length x, but this small length on top is only 1. It's area, x times 1, so it's an x. And then our little tiny one here, in black. Let me put the pen down. Notice it has the same length as our stick's width. So it is a piece that is one by one, so its area is one. So we're going to look at these. And now on the board, what I'm going to do, I'm going to represent this as my length one, this as my length x. So what I have here, this is a one by one, so this is a one size piece. 1 and an x, so this is an x size piece, and the length x and an x, so this is an x squared size piece. So we have a 1, an x, and an x squared. And now what we can do is we're going to be using these to factor some things. So the first one, if I asked you to factor 4x plus 12, you learned that earlier in the video, but let's learn it with algebra tiles now. So what I've done is I've drawn out four x size pieces and 12 one size pieces. And when you're working in class, I can give you, if you ask me, a little bag of these pieces and you can play around with them and see what you get. So the way to factor with algebra tiles is we need to make perfect size rectangles. And now 4x plus 12, it can actually make a few of these. So let's look at one of them here. If we have 4x plus 12, we can put an x beside an x, beside an x, beside an x. I'm going to try not to run out of space here. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Sorry if it's uh, going a little downhill there. Now, factored. This is a length 1, and then there's a length x, 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 and there are 12 one size pieces. So this is 1 times 1, 2, 3, 4 x's plus 12 ones. So that would be one way that we could take our 4x's and our 12 ones and create a rectangle. Another way we could do this is we could take an x and an x on top of an x and an x and then I could draw What I have now is I have an x, an x, an x, an x. So I have four x's. Then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 ones. So I put all of these pieces into a rectangle. It's a little sloppy, um, but it's a rectangle. Now to factor this, I have 1 plus 1. So I have 2 times, this is all about area, so it's width times length, or length times width. I have an x and an x, so I have... 2x's plus how many ones do I have along the top? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ones. And if we multiply this, 2 times 2x is 4x. 4x. 2 times 6 is 12. 12. And now let's look at this one more way. I have an x, an x, an x, and an x. So I have four x's.
and I have 12 ones. So this is another rectangle. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, because remember, this length is 1. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4 length ones, and I have a length x and a 1, 2, 3. So my answer here would be I have 4 times an x plus the lengths 1, 2, 3. 4x plus 3. And if we factor that out, 4 times x is 4x. 4, 4 times 3 is 12. Now, these are all factors, I guess. Um, but which would be our best answer? Your best answer is always your rectangle that's closest to square shape. So this one is really long and narrow. This one's not quite as long, a little less narrow. This one, though, is the most like a square, and that's how we know it is the most factored of all of our rectangles. Now we'll look at one final example um, before we end, and this is like the uh, questions that sort of start your, your assignments today. The question would say, what polynomial does this represent? So if you remember, the big squares were x squared, the sticks were x, and the little ones were ones. So in this case, we have an x squared, an x squared, an x squared. We have 6x squared, and we have an x, an x, an x, an x, an x, and an x. So 6x squared plus 6. And it also may say what factors make this polynomial. And in this case, we have a length x, an x, and an x. And we have a length x, an x, a 1, and a 1. So factored, or what factors used in this example, would be 3x times an x and an x is 2x plus 2. And in this case, you may notice it's not fully factored, but if the question just simply asks what polynomial it represents and what factors it represents, we are done. There were 6x squareds and 6x's, and this rectangle represents x, x, and x. So 3x times, so brackets, 2 more x's plus 1, 2. So the assignment for today is page 155 and 156, question 4, all parts of question 4. Question 7 to 10, only do letters A, C, and E. If you feel you want to do more, do more for practice. 11, all of the questions. 14, A and C. And then 16, A, C, and E. And I, I feel I've taught you enough to do this question, but it does bring in some extra variables or more letters. So if you're struggling with this one, you can go ahead and take a look at example 3 on page 154, because the book does do one for you there.